is doing you see here there are three balls white green and the red one the white is the real ball is moving i'm just simulating because i don't want to uh Hi everyone, welcome back. Lastly, we learned about this optical flow module and we finished this one. Today we are gonna start a new module which is Kalman filter. For this video, we are just uh, gonna make a short introduction and in the next video we, we are gonna uh, in the next videos we are gonna get into the details of this class. And also I'm gonna show a simple example to understand the logic, the purpose of this Kalman filter. Um, actually, Kalman filter is used in many engineering systems in the world, but of course we are going to focus on to the computer vision side. In computer vision, it's mostly used for object tracking. It can also be used for uh, pose estimation, sensor fusion kind of things in computer vision, but the main focus is going to be object tracking. Also, this is included in OpenCV library, you can see it's included into the object tracking module. and. In the object tracking part, uh, also is used for predicting, uh, predicting the motion. What I mean is, for example, let's assume a ball is moving from point A to the point B. Then what is gonna be the next destination? Uh, so in that case, Kalman filter is gonna help us because uh, all you need to do is just give the data as input to the Kalman filter. This data is gonna be the observed data which is gonna be the point which ball is already passed so you are giving this data as input to this Kalman filter then it's gonna give you an output which is including the next destination points of this ball the simply uh, simple uh, example from this ball example you can understand Kalman filter is just predicting the motion the, uh, the next destinations of the motion it's working perfectly in the linear systems but also in uh, non-linear systems if you some if you manually change some things it's gonna work fine also okay maybe we can switch to the code part and we can see the example and we can understand more clearly this is the code uh, maybe looks like can be a little complicated i'm not gonna get into the uh, details of this one because in the next videos we are gonna understand what actually uh, these functions are doing uh, to, under, to just explain the simply, I'm just uh, initializing the Kalman filter object. Then after that, um, I'm just calling some prediction uh, functions simply, and I'm showing them in the uh, frame. That's all. But after that, we can understand. Maybe just run the code, see simply what it's doing. You see here, there are three balls: white, green, and the red one. The white is the real ball is moving. I'm just simulating because I don't want to um, use real world example for the first video of the Kalman filter. So basically the white one is the real object and the green one is just uh, estimated point and uh, the red one is the future predicted point which is uh, going little forward. Yeah, basically this is like that but um, how I did sim this, this simulation maybe I also this code is gonna be uh, I'm gonna put into my github so you ca you can check from the descriptions and get uh, this code easily and try in your site um, basically there is a simple function which is just giving me a current position of my white ball which is the real ball and I'm giving all the past data into this Kalman filter for each loop so a uh, Kalman filter according to this data, observed data is predicting uh, the next position, next destination and it's gonna hold in the green circle and also I'm little iterating the Kalman filter to, to see the most forward positions then it's gonna be uh, shown as the red circle. Basically uh, this code is doing that one. Um, to understand the logic more easily, I'm gonna show by one by and I'm gonna press the, my keyboard, any key, so it's gonna continue and we can understand more better. Okay, this is the first scene and the first frame you see here the white, which is my real ball, let's say, a ball. And this is the yellow because Kalman filter uh, initialized here because there's no data yet given into the Kalman. Let's continue one position okay i already give a one uh, point to this kalman filter and it's predicted this one which is wrong because data is really less and the second one 
it's trying to estimate the next position very clearly I mean uh, okay um, by the way uh, okay maybe after that I can explain so it's getting more correct more data is getting is observing so it's giving more better results and more better and more better or more better okay so it's continue like this so why they are matching almost because the white in this scene you see white is the um, previous state and the yellow is the uh, predicted state so uh, they are almost matching because uh, it's predicting very well it means so but when the the white ball hit into the edge let's see what is gonna be happen you see the green is little uh, wrong anymore because it's, it's take all the observed data during this linear line and uh, it it just thinks it's gonna continue in this way but it already hits to an edge so it's changing the direction but after uh, it starts to take the new observed data is trying to fix itself and getting closer to this white one and again change still wrong but after the new data came into the Kalman filter so it's fixing itself and this red also is valid because um, in many real world example for example just imagine a car uh, passing inside a bridge and from helicopter you are just uh, viewing that car and after uh, you are tracking that car uh, but if it passes uh, under a bridge you cannot visualize it but if you use Kalman filter you can get the next destination where is currently this car is because you already get the main observed data so it can give you the real point of the car inside that bridge I don't know I, I, I hope you understood what I mean so uh, this red one giving us the predicted next feature of course here it cannot know there is an edge and it's gonna change here but at least let's assume if all the way it predicted well only here is wrong then after it's changing position it's still uh, correcting itself and giving you correct position um, this example is very simple and good to understand what Kalman filter is doing in computer vision actually and as I said I'm gonna put this into the description you can get from my github uh, for this first video of Kalman filter um, I just wanted to show you what actually it's doing so hopefully it's done and in the next videos we are gonna get into the details for example what these test identities are doing or this transition or measurement matrix are meaning so we are gonna understand them in the next videos thanks for watching see you in the next videos